Hi, Somerville Media Center viewers. I'm Christine Barber, and I'm proud to be the state representative for the 34th Middlesex District, which includes neighborhoods in Somerville and Medford. I'd like to use this opportunity today to talk about my work as state representative and to ask you for your vote on September 1st. So I'm a lifelong progressive activist and I remain invigorated by the passion for justice and the, the ability of members of our communities to really look out for one another. Before running for office, I was a healthcare advocate and I worked on policy change um, in states around the country um, and access to health care and health justice in policies like the Affordable Care Act. Um, I worked really closely with grassroots activists and, um, and I learned I could have a real impact bringing about change in the state house. So when I look at an issue, whether it's health care, housing, climate change, I do so through the lens of public health. And that really shines a light on some of the disparities that exist for our most vulnerable populations. And that inspired me to run for office and to work with you as your state representative. So I've served as state rep since 2015 um, and have worked closely with community members to pass legislation to bring about positive change. So I've continued working with all of the friends, activists, community leaders that I've met along the way during that time. And we've been able to push legislation forward. Um, things like immigrant justice. Um, I'm the sponsor of a bill that would allow anyone to get a driver's license regardless of their immigration status. So this means that people won't risk detention or deportation every time they drive to work or they bring a child to a doctor's appointment. I've stood up for equality. I worked to guarantee coverage to contraception and ensure that women have access to birth control. And when the legislature passed a comprehensive criminal justice reform law, I stood up to make sure that services and programs for women who are in the justice system are protected. And I've worked to address the affordable housing crisis. I'm a member of the housing committee and I've been able to support tenant protections bring greater rental subsidies and more accessible housing for people with disabilities. I've also remained engaged with the local community groups um, and we've helped to secure funding for programs like at Groundwork Somerville and at Housing Families in Medford. And I'm always reaching out to constituents um, through open communication from regular office hours to going to local community centers, public housing, um, calls to my offices about a constituent issue or a vote. I'm always uh, putting it out there for my constituents. In my experience, the way to meaningful change is to actually listen to people in the community and those who are most impacted um, and amplify their needs and struggles. So that's something I'm always um, trying to do when I'm working on equality or immigrants' rights or workers' protections or how climate change is affecting us right here in our local communities. So that said, I know that many voters are frustrated, and rightfully so, with the lack of legislation that's passed in both chambers of the State House. And I've been frustrated too at some of the systemic change that we have um, had trouble making. I'm a progressive legislator. I'm fighting for these issues every single day. I've worked hard to organize a progressive caucus um, to push legislation like new funding for public schools and the significant criminal justice reforms. And I've also built support for electing progressives throughout the state. We need elected leaders all over the state who support systemic change. So we have the votes to pass the things that we believe in. At the same time, there's no time to wait on many of these issues. I continue to stand up every day for reproductive rights, for immigrant justice, for climate change and affordable housing. And we've won on many issues through our relationships and through organizing in the State House. Um, this session, we passed the Student Opportunity Act, which was a landmark bill to provide greater and more equitable public education funding. We passed a bill to ban conversion therapy. We passed um, my bill, which makes it easier for children to get access to behavioral health care. And we stopped evictions and foreclosures during the COVID pandemic in one of the most far-reaching bills in the country. 
These are incredibly challenging times. It's a world fed up with waiting for change and inequality and racism that's been present for so long has recently been exposed and come to the surface. There's so much to do to continue creating greater equity and justice in our communities. And I remain a progressive leader with the passion and the energy to keep up the fight for that change in the Massachusetts State House. I've loved showing up with and working with and alongside members of Somerville and Medford communities as we fight for progressive policies. And I hope you'll stand with me and vote for me on September 1st. If you'd like to get involved with my campaign, there is a lot to do. You can go to christinebarber.org, volunteer. We're doing a lot of remote phone banking and trying to figure out how to get to as many voters as possible. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for your vote on September 1st.